Yorktown won the Virginia 6A state championship last season. Joshua Needleman for the Washington Post, at first glance, not much has changed for the Yorktown girls soccer team. The Patriots are making easy work of opponents, much as they did last year when they won the Virginia 6A state championship. The style of play is different. The coach patrolling the sidelines is, too. Hannah Lehman Maharg initially allowed the Patriots to retain the system of her predecessor, Mariano Alonso, but soon Yorktown tired of the methodical, patient approach. I don't want the girls to be of the mindset that they shouldn't attack when the opportunity is there, said Lehman Maharg, the former junior varsity coach at Langley. The Patriots have picked up the intensity this season, and the results have been bountiful. Goals are coming in bunches. The latest outburst came Tuesday night, when Yorktown defeated Langley, 6-0. One reason you can chalk up to why we've scored so many goals this season is that your first thought is to go to the goal instead of holding it. Lehman Maharg said, The Patriots used a 4-3-2-1 alignment in 2017, employing a sort of diamond in the midfield. Keeping that system in place, Yorktown lost its March 12th season opener to Oakton, 2-1. Two days later, the Patriots hosted Wakefield, and her team's halftime lead was so large that Lehman Maharg felt safe trying something new. She instructed the girls to slide into a 4-3-3, moving sophomore Lauren Flynn up to center forward. Yorktown went on to win, 8-0, and hasn't changed its formation since. The Oakton loss is a footnote in a season otherwise marked by blowout victories. And entering Tuesday's match, Flynn had scored a team-high 14 goals. The more important test of Yorktown's new style will come in the postseason. The Patriots could very well end up playing Madison, the chippy, aggressive team that beat Yorktown in last season's regional final. For now, though, Lehman Maharg is happy to see things working. Junior midfielder Lacey McCormick told her the offense feels less chaotic and it's easier to see passing lanes. Coming into a team that won states last year, it can be a lot. Lehman Maharg said, Madison, 9-0-1, last ranked, won after playing to a draw against Chantilly in the team's first meeting earlier this season, the Warhawks scored a pair of goals in overtime to earn a 3-1 win. 2. Chantilly, 7-1-2, LR, 2 The Chargers pushed Madison to overtime despite playing without three starters, then played Oakton to a 2-2 draw Tuesday. 3. Yorktown, 9-1-1, LR, 3 The Patriots' 6-0 victory over Langley marked their seventh shutout of the season. 4 Briar Woods, 7 0 2, LR, 4 Katie Bryant scored the Falcons' lone goal in a 1 to 1 draw with Broad Run. 5 Patriot, 11 0, LR, 6 After entering halftime against Battlefield tied at 1, the Pioneers exploded for three second half goals to claim a 4 2 victory, then beat Brook Point and Osborne Park by a combined score of 11 1. 6 Tuscarora, 8 1 2, LR, 7 The Huskies edged Potomac Falls, 1 0, before picking up another close victory four days later with a 3 2 win over Freedom South Riding. 7 WT, Woodson, 5 0 3, LR, 5 The Cavaliers couldn't net the equalizer in what turned out to be a 2 2 draw with South County. 8 Battlefield, 8 2, LR, 9 Though the loss to rival Patriots dunk, the Bobcats moved on quickly with an 8 0 route of Osborne. 9 TC Williams, 10-1, LR, 10 Caroline Bates scored a pair of goals to help the Titans beat Hayfield, 5-1, avenging their lone defeat of the season. 10, Oakton, 5-3-2, LR, 8 The Cougars continued to be a tough team to put away in draws against Westfield and Chantilly. Dropped out, none on the bubble, Potomac Falls, 9-1-2.